Good morning guys, hope you're doing well. Sorry the bulletin's a bit later than normal. I try and get it out about an hour ago, uh, but I, I slept in and I, I had like pretty bad sleep, so hence why I've had a bit of a, you know, a lion. Uh, it's difficult to sleep right now because um, my cat's waking me up quite a bit, so uh, I, I just have to put some earplugs in and I should be fine. Uh, so the risk calculation is just at the precipice of being risk on. Uh, we're currently at the risk off stage is so much that we're positive, but we're only 0 0.004 positive. Okay, so we're going to probably easily flip to risk on tomorrow. And we had a big shift on the 24 hour difference. And that's telling us that the herd are selling indices over the last 24 hours. And I think they'll probably continue to do it. But we don't know for sure. We don't know for certain what they're going to do. Uh, ideally that they continue to sell and then it'd be a lot easier. If they go long, then it's going to cause a lot more volatility. We don't want them to be going long. So this scary news event was welcome in order for us to you know, trade, basically. So uh, we just need the, the dumb money to be going one particular way and not uh, being undecided. And when they're undecided, it's very, very difficult. Uh, so hopefully, with any luck, they're going to continue short and then they're going to be on a road of destruction. And they're going to get blown up so let's hope they hold short but if they go long today then obviously it changes things so we're at 80 out of 100 so we're very high that's calculated on this weight in so lots of greens basically uh, the dollar was strong and the uh, the treasury yield is up higher but i don't think this is the uh, current data because we had a u.s holiday yesterday uh, as you'd see the the treasury yields actually fell quite a bit uh, so this is not real-time data but it will go live for New York okay KDB scores uh, we've got a lot of Kiwi flags at the top and we've got a few pound flags UK flags we've got the euro down there as well and um, EA was a good spot if you saw it in the, the trading chat Marco was saying EA would be a good sell we currently hit with quite strong resistance and it has fallen since so that's been quite a good trade had you called it and uh euro swiss is the weakest there but the score out three so it's very very weak and they're long and uh currently the bears are getting paid um they're getting paid about 21 pips that's their break even that's live price so the euro swiss is currently paying the bears so be a little bit careful with that particular pair and uh so we'll just show you the indices in gold and I'll click the train station. My computer was so slow, I had to reboot this morning, so hopefully this is going to be okay. Uh, this is what I mean by the herd selling over the 24 hours, and we had the buy. Okay, so we can draw a box here, and obviously, you know, we're going to come up high. If they sell, someone has to take the other side of the trade. And if the humans, the human retail traders, are going to sell, there has to be a computer, <laughs> a bank software, or um, you know, big fish to buy. They have to take the other side of that transaction. That's how it works, okay? So if they sell, it's gotta to have to come up. Uh, we'll do S&P, and um, so it'll be our pump there, up like that. The reason for it is that we had to buy, so it'll be come. It sold it, massive aggressive move. It started to go long, fairly aggressive move, and then, uh, this is where they started to go long slightly, but then they sold these four candles here. There's a doji here. What time was that? Oh, okay, so it was fairly bearish going up to New York. Uh, yeah, that's yesterday. So we had four descending candles that probably encouraged them to sell. And then, of course, uh, we really bumped and we continued so with any luck they're going to continue to sell which is possible that's likely going to happen because we can see that little downshift there that little tick down uh so yeah it's a bit tricky uh, it should come up higher pending that this remains green okay it might just do a little retracement perhaps but uh that that's the sentiment for you it's um very accurate using the crossover strategy it was fairly and um We'll finish up with gold and we'll look at the robot. So there's the buy here. See with the crossover. Admittedly we had one here, but we had another one here. Um, so that was them selling. Up we come. That's them selling. Um, yeah, they got paid a little bit for three hours. 
they're the hours that led up to the New York Open. Although we were closed yesterday, it would have been the New York Open had it been open. <laughs> right. uh, so the bank algorithms basically stepped in there, saw what was happening, and then they pushed price higher. Now, gold of no, so um, it's making a sell. Uh, see, yeah, it's kind of a bit slow, this computer. Uh, so they've gone long. And so by uh, three minutes time, we'll have a um, resistance box. If they're going to continue to buy, this will be a resistance. So you could theoretically look for a sell 1862 stop loss, potentially. And then we'll look at the robot quick. And we're up a little bit. And I was kind of thinking maybe we could maybe close <laughs> um, and then we can like start over or we can just leave it running. I mean, we're positive. It's just, uh, it's just been a bit slow. I guess maybe it was US holiday yesterday. So that's probably a lot of the reason for it. But like I say, we're, you know, it's, it's doing okay. It's just not really doing much. We need a catalyst from a um, PPI FOMC minutes and then that's tomorrow. So it could just be a sideways affair today for the robot. And that's it. So learn to trade safely and um, be careful with things, and especially with risk, because we're still not quite at the big picture risk on. And that gold could be a good sell, but you'd want to be looking at your small time frames and things like that. So trade safely, and I'll speak to you guys around about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock for the robot update.